Next we'll add a details view to do the actual editing. So I'm going to actually do this in source view. Drop down here below the data source and grab a details view. Drop it on the page and then again to go to switch back to design view to set up the data source. And if you need to see the details of this, you know, refer to one of the other videos because the trick here is tying this to the selected item in the D in the grid view. So we'll do the where the ID column comes from a control and that control is grid view one. And we'll make sure and add this. Say OK. We can also do make sure and generate our queries. Say OK. Finish. And then make sure enable inserting, editing. And we can also enable deleting if we want to from here. And then we'll edit our fields. Turn the command field into a button. And I'm also going to turn on the ID field to make sure we can see this in insert mode. Although, let's see. We don't want to do inserting from here. We just want to do editing and deleting. Then uh, the last, well, let's see. Let's just finish it here. Then we'll come back in the next tutorial and do the switching so that the only one of these shows up at a time. So let's test this out. So if we select this one, then it shows up in the details view. Perfect.